and welcome back to my channel so it is motivational monday okay so i have this journal it says dream on this is for my best friend she got me this and i really really um appreciate this because like this journal first of all it's really really cute and um I haven't I never really had like a journal like that before like of course when I was younger but as I'm as I'm older I don't really like use a journal but for me to have that now I just use it for a lot of a variety of things and it's really been like an awesome little gadget to have so not too long ago I received these cards I received these cards from my boyfriend um I was a little down and he did with it. wow so the lightning down here want to get bad wow i'm just going to keep going because it's nobody but the devil he doesn't want me to put this out there but i'm still put it out there but um he got me these four cards so one of them says i'm not really going to read each and every card but i'm just going to show you all like a um a glimpse of what it's like it says this on it so basically to every card he writes a letter like a motivational letter no so yeah if anything i'm extremely grateful for this because oops, thank you and and here he talks about um thanking me for being such an awesome person basically saying that god is able i also shared it because just in case you know somebody who's just like kind of down and out um pretty like just that or going through simply going through a rough time i just thought that that'd be a cool gift to get someone that you may know just to brighten up their day and just let them know you know trouble doesn't last always and i really think it's cool because it's the value is so strong but this right here is just like I don't know people taking out their time to write you a letter of encouragement four times or however many cards you would want like that's pretty awesome to me i'm just gonna be real with you guys i don't really have like a message but i have a message um so not too long ago i was writing notes Whoop. i was writing notes and i'm like this could really be my motivational monday me sharing my notes you know me sharing yeah me sharing my notes so I'm just going to go ahead and get started so it says so the topic of my notes were were well is be careful of what you pray for and I'm just going to simply read um, my notes and I'll go back and pinpoint some of the points and elaborate on them and then we'll be done be careful of what you pray for. When we ask, we shall receive. When you ask God for something, you have to be able to be prepared for what, whatever may come your way. Not all of us may be able to handle what God brings our way. But then again, you ask for it. When we seem unprepared for what God has for us, we become discouraged to finish the race. Then, be, then being discouraged may lead to something even worse. It is best to go throughout your life, go throughout your day saying, God, I trust you. Or maybe even thank you, thank you for my trials, Father God. Thank God for difficulties because they're hand tailored blessings designed for your benefit and growth. When stress creeps upon you, allow that to be an alert alert to rely on God. Ask God to show you how to handle the situation. The simple act of thanking God releases your mind from its negative focus. As you turn to God, the problem fades in significance and loses its power to trip you up. Together, you and God will be able to deal with the situation. Either it be facing it head on or putting it aside for later consideration. Most of the situations that entangle your mind are not today's concerns. You have borrowed them from tomorrow. I asked myself a question and I answered it. My question was, be honest, what can I do differently to change how I feel about the things that I'm going through? So what I said was, 
to try to be more positive positive and realistic with myself i want to say i said be more positive because i feel like if you look if you believe that god brings the good out of everything then you should be able to be more positive about your adverse circumstances i know that may seem kind of like wait how am I supposed to be positive about whatever I'm going through and it's not that good? You know, I know it may seem like kind of like what? But I feel like if we just show God that we trust him and believe him and that we can be positive throughout what we're going through, then I feel like that'll signal to him to elevate us to the next level and things of that nature. So I'm going and when I said I want to be more realistic with myself, like just be real with myself and say hey this does not last it's not going to last forever that's what i keep trying to tell myself you know but you know the mind is powerful the mind is powerful and you'll be trying to be positive while your mind is like no what if this happens oh my gosh like what if what if what if you know just going crazy just your mind is going crazy but half of you is like trying to think positive the other half is like what if this happens oh my god you know so 25-8 is a roller coaster going on. 25-8 is a battle. It's a battle. But it's up to you on who you allow to win. So, this one really was just, I couldn't even believe I wrote this, you know. But when you ask God for something, you have to be able to be prepared for whatever may come your way. Some things that, the, that I pray for, I'm not very specific. And then eventually god delivers answers my prayers in a way that i don't even you know i wouldn't expect for him to answer you know or he would give me what i asked for rather in a way that i really you know wouldn't want it to be given to me but i asked for it you have to be careful what you pray for you have to be careful because you may get it in a way that you would have never thought I'm a living witness so take it from me I've already acquired that personal experience so I know how it is to receive something that you prayed for but not necessarily get it how you would have imagined it but that all goes back to being specific and careful of what you pray for. Every day I wake up and I thank God for life, of course. But what I need to practice saying is I trust you, God. Add that into my routine. I feel like once we practice saying things, we start believing it. The challenge I am offering you today is... Add those four words into your routine and just watch how your life changes. But you can't just be saying it. You have to believe it as well. You know, you can't just be saying it. You got to believe it. Thank God for difficulties because they're hand-tailored blessings designed for your benefit and growth. What you go through will only make you stronger. You may not see it now, but it will definitely make you stronger. It will definitely make you stronger. Don't be so quick to give up throwing the towel because it's so, so tough. We just have to be able to accept trials even when we don't want to. Like, it's life. It's, but what I always tell myself is trouble doesn't last always. And God didn't bring me this far to leave me. So, what I'm going through, I see my growth. I see it. I'm like, okay, God, I see you working. I see it. But I just have to be able to... Keep that mindset in the midst of it all, not when I've gotten a break from it. But while I'm going through the mess, I have to be able to keep that mindset like, hey, keep it going. It don't last always. Keep it going. You know, just keep with that pep talk. Sometimes you have to have a pep talk with yourself. So last but not least, I'm going to just say this one little last one. Let's see. Let's see. One that really stood out to me. Most of the situations that entangle your mind are not today's concern. You have borrowed them from tomorrow. Just think about this. Don't worry about tomorrow. tomorrow. First of all, tomorrow is not promised. That's number one. 
Number two, don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You're not God. You don't you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So my advice to you would be try not to borrow tomorrow's concerns and make them today's concerns. Let tomorrow be tomorrow. Let today be today. You focus on what you have to do today. Don't dwell on the negative. Don't dwell on the bad. Don't don't dwell on I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to do that. Thank God for life. Thank God for a roof over your head. Thank God for food on your table. Thank God for transportation. Thank God for what you have now instead of worrying. Stop worrying. Hey, I'm a living witness. I worry too. But stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop, 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 stop. Stop worrying. Please. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or this, this, and that. Worry about today and being a greater person. I hope you all enjoyed this Motivational Monday. And I know my setup is pretty different. But hey, I was destined to get this video out because I did not post one last Monday. You know, my I don't even have an excuse for not putting out a video last Monday. All I can simply say is life happens. And that's as real as it gets. Life happens, so no, I was not able to put out a video mon last Monday, but I am here, I am back, and I am better. I'm blessed, and I just really hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends. And until, oh, and I will be out for two weeks. There won't be a, a motivational Monday the next two weeks. So, um, you know... I have some obligations to tend to, you know, and that following third week is the week I'm moving to my apartment. Woo! School is about to start. I am so excited and I will keep you guys updated about my school schedule and with me posting videos. I will let you guys know that first. I want to make this known. School is my number one priority. So please do not get all sassy with me for not posting as much as I have posted this summer. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next Monday, I will see you guys later. Say bless. Say bless. Say bless.